Welcome! You have arrived at a very special place where we make very special things. <laughs> I can't. Hey, it's me. Today I'm doing something weird that includes cats. This is one of those things that's just great about doing YouTube videos. You have an excuse to do the weirdest crap on the planet. Today I'm gonna be making crafts with cat hair. Just let that sink in. This is not my idea, okay? She did it. So I was scrolling through Amazon, just doing my online shopping as usual, and this little baby pops up. I decided that that is the weirdest thing I've ever heard of, so I immediately bought it. I am not making fun of the author of this book. I'm sure that they are a very creative and beautiful person. No judgment, but this is a weird one. I have a cat, his name is Opie. Yeah, 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 yeah. roughly five years old. Don't actually know his birthday because he was a rescue. This past year I decided that he can share my birthday. So we celebrate his birthday on my birthday by giving him food, which he gets every day. He doesn't like anything else. So let's explore. There's a little disclaimer in here. It says, your cat's hair is not for sale. <laughs> my cat's hair is for sale. Purchase in the link below. I'm just kidding. But that is kind of a weird thing to say. I'll admit that as I was making them, I thought, is it really okay to be making something like this out of my cat's hair? That's a good question. <sighs> I don't know. What can we make with cat hair? That's the question. <laughs> Okay, so the kinds of things you can make, finger puppets, book covers, portraits, pin cushions. Okay, all right. You know, I am primarily interested in the finger puppets. Finger puppets? Finger puppets? Yeah, that's where it's at for me. Like the one that's on the cover. The first step is to harvest our material. In preparation for this video, <laughs> I've gone ahead and been collecting the fur off of my cat for months. There's kitty litter in it. So I have a, a pretty good supply just from his regular grooming sessions. I have no idea how much we're gonna need. I'm new, what can I say? But I'm gonna go ahead and get just one last grooming in. We've got the cat hair. What else do we need to do this? Oh, I'm gonna go and collect all my materials. Ugh. I got my, ow. I got my stuff. I'm gonna put this over here. I wanna start making crafts with my cat. Not with his company, but with him. <laughs> Step one, collect the cat hair. Got that covered. Moving on to step two, measure your finger. They're thick. I don't like measuring things. They have a template here that you can use. I'm gonna use it. Okay, I'm gonna make it a wee bit wider at the end because... They're thick. There's our little guy. We must trace this on cardboard. Perfect, sorry. Perfect. Let's cut this out. Uh, it has mutated. That's fine. He's unique. Waterproof your pattern. So we wrap it in plastic wrap. What is the technique for wrapping a cardboard cat in plastic wrap? Anyone know? I'm just gonna cut off the excess here. Is that what we're supposed to look like? I don't know. Tape over top of the plastic wrap. Why we have to do plastic wrap and tape? Packing tape. <laughs> Forgot the name of it for a second. Ah, got it. Tape this thing up. Sticky, sticky, sticky. Aren't you glad you clicked here? Get to watch me wrap tape around cardboard. That's fun, right? Okay, well, that was a blast. It's time to get out the cat hair. <laughs> what I'm gathering from this is we just kind of wrap the cat hair around it, okay? This is high quality cat hair right here. Speaking of cat hair, my hair. This video is sponsored by Hum Nutrition. Hum Nutrition is an all natural line of supplements that are sustainably sourced, non-GMO, clean and natural. That's how we like it. I don't know what these are. They came out and they're going. The thing that's special about Hum Nutrition is that they provide a way for you to get personalized recommendations from a registered dietitian. All you have to do is take a three minute quiz online. There's questions about your diet, your mood, your beauty. Needs. I've got a lot of those. <laughs> 
Afterward, you'll get a list of recommended products with clinically proven ingredients. You have access to the dietitian if you have any questions. These are the two products that I've been using, Hair Sweet Hair and Glow Sweet Glow. They are just packed with ingredients that nourish your hair and your skin in gummy form. Ooh, ooh. They taste really good. Mm -hmm. I tend to have dry skin, especially in the winter. It's like... Since I've been taking these, I haven't noticed that feeling anymore. My skin is softer and, dare I say, glowing? Visit the link in the description and use the promo code Mariah to get 20% off. Thank you to Hum for sponsoring this video. Now I'll get back to whatever I was doing. High quality cat hair right here, complete with cat litter. That is a rare find. That's pretty gross. We need to step up your hygiene bra. <laughs> avoid the piece with the poop sand on it. We just take the cat hair and simply wrap it around. I'm not really sure how it's supposed to stay together like this. What is... Um, yeah, this is weird. I don't understand how to work with this media. It looks like she's got a short hair cat. Maybe that's easier. Look at that. There's one of my hairs. What's in there? Plastic? Why does he have plastic on him? That's what we have here. It looks like a cocoon. It's very unruly, okay? Doom, 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 doom. Hey. Um. So I actually left, I had somewhere to go. So I had to just drop what I was doing and leave and go be a normal, somewhat normal human being for a little while. Back to crafting with cat hair in my basement. While I was out, I um, was asked what video I was doing. And I said, crafting with cat hair. And then she says, oh, Simply Neological, she did a video on that. So apparently Simply Neological has a video following this exact book. I have not seen that video. I will definitely watch it after this. Yeah, I thought I was just acknowledge that. At the time I bought it, there were no videos on this book at all. Getting back to the task at hand. <laughs> Scrub it with liquid detergent. So I got warm water and dish soap. This is a cup of warm water. It's also a cup. One, two. Give it a little taste. Perfect. And put the soap on the hair. <laughs> I'm just giving my cat a bath. He's got a little belly. You're supposed to pinch the ears, something like that. Okay, then you're just supposed to rinse off the detergent. <coughs> splish, splash, I was taking a bath. The jacuzzi. Dry our little kitty. Did I manage to make a butt crack? What is that? It's looking worse now that it's dry. Now we have to iron this. Here we are. Let's just tuck you in. <laughs> oh, I should have been warming up the iron. I don't really know how to use an iron that well. This um, does, <laughs> this doesn't get that much use. Oh, ow, yep, that's pretty hot. Apply firm pressure. It's bleeding. Ugh, it smells like hot, wet cat. Mine is kind of coming apart, uh-oh. You know what, I'll be back. Have some Mod Podge. I'm just gonna dip my finger in it and just like kind of stick the fur together in the back. I just want it to hold together and it's just the back so I don't really care if it looks a little bit whack. The front actually is holding together pretty well though. Let me just let it dry and then come back to it. Hi. I don't know where I'm gonna plop this into the video, but at some point this needs to be said. All month I've been reminding you guys and reminding you guys that my Pickle the Dinosaur plushie is available for pre-order. Pickle the Dinosaur. Pickle the Dinosaur. Pickle the Dinosaur. Pickle the Dinosaur. Well, today is the last and final day of the pre-order. It is closing you will no longer be able to order pickle the dinosaur after today so if you wanted him at any point order today because you're not going to be able to tomorrow i do want to thank everyone who has already reserved a pickle the dinosaur plush i'm so happy for all the orders that have come in thank you thank you you guys keep everything going and keep me able to continue to make videos and to put out more designs that's love and that's that <laughs> Let's be real, he needs a friend. Everyone needs a friend. I'll be your friend. I'm an expert now. This should be much easier this time. What's step one again? Let's do it. Here's the 
here's my second one. This one looks somehow worse. The first one actually came together pretty well. The Mod Podge worked. It's dry now. So basically all we have to do is, okay, cut the bottom open, slide the template out. <laughs> we can create a tail if we want to with this piece hanging off. The tail's kind of creepy to me. <laughs> Whoops, this one doesn't get a tail. Hello. <laughs> this one just looks like a paper sack. It sheds just like a cat, but when we add the details, maybe it'll come together. We can just add little things to them to try to make them cute. So what they show in the picture is just some thread around the neck, which is really cute, but I'm going to take it a step further. I found this tiny little cupcake charm and we must incorporate this. I just like it. Is it cute or is it too much? Oh, I found these in my hoard. Perfect, okay. They're like little sticky eyes. They came from some kit that I did a while ago. So these are eyes. They are coming in handy right now. <laughs> Kinda creepy. <gasps> I have felt. Cut the very corner of a piece of felt. Tiny bit of hot glue. I'm shaking. Okay, there we go. It kind of looks like an owl. Now this one, definitely give it some eyes. Ow. <laughs> what did I do? Why does it not look like a cat? Maybe it needs whiskers. That looks kind of like a cat now. I have this bin of little like fabric scraps. It's so cute. I'm gonna make him a little bow tie. I did this in a five minute craft video like two years ago. I made this. This is gonna be really hard to do it on this small of a scale. Okay, so here are my cat ear, cat finger puppets. They're very fragile, very finicky, and um, kind of a pain to put together, but they're really cute. Yeah, that's weird. I have to show Opie what I made out of him. <laughs> Look who I found. Opie. Okay. What is it? Opie. Why aren't you interested in this? Opie, how do you like it? Hello, look at me. Do not eat me though. This is the closest thing to a son you will ever have. His bow tie matches your eyes. But, 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 but. We got one that's a little wild and crazy and then one that looks a little bit more put together. I kind of love them. I guess I'm getting used to the idea. I don't know. You know, every once in a while you just need to do something weird and just have fun. Thank you for watching and I will see you next Friday.